The controversial moment saw Will, 54, quickly issuing an apology and resigning from the Academy. However, this has seemingly not been enough as insiders claim 58-year-old Chris has not been receptive to Will's efforts. Almost a full year after the shocking moment took place in Hollywood and Chris has finally broken his silence on the controversy in his new Netflix special. Aptly titled Selective Outrage, Chris makes some bold claims in the comedy show regarding the origin of his rift with the Smith family and emphasized he is not a victim. Insiders have now told people that the Aladdin actor has desperately attempted to fix and make up for his impulsive reaction to Chris's joke about his wife Salapisha. The source noted that Will has felt terrible about the incident adding, has tried unsuccessfully to make amends in the best way he could with Chris. He is better but still remorseful. Will listened to those who tried to help him and feels that he has become a better person. The insider highlighted that during this turbulent time, Will has leaned on his family and said the situation has helped the actor be more introspective. Will's attempts at amends have evidently landed short from Chris as he aimed several digs at the actor during his Netflix special, concluding by applying the title to his former co-star, Will Smith practices selective outrage. Chris also went on to claim that Jada Pinkett Smith, 51, had started the feud between them in 2016 claiming that she had requested he forfeit hosting that year's Oscars as Will hadn't been nominated. The actor had starred in 2015 drama Concussion, with Chris joking in selective outrage, and then he gives me a F in concussion. The 2016 Academy Awards were quite divisive with the hashtag Oscars so white controversy at its peak causing multiple Hollywood A-listers to boycott the event. While Chris broached the topic in his opening monologue for the event, he also lambasted Jada for boycotting it insinuating that as a television star she wasn't invited in the first place. Don't miss! Piers Morgan blasts Prince Harry's claim Frogmore is a real home, latest, Harry faces exile as he sabotages William Bond says Lady Victoria, latest, Sam Claflin couldn't stop crying filming Daisy Jones and the Six, latest, now, the comedian noted this joke was supposedly a reaction to Jada's initial request to ditch hosting the awards, saying in his special, that's how it is, she starts it, I finish it, okay? That's what the F happened. Nobody's picking on her. She started this S. Chris has also come under fire from viewers as he referenced Twill's latest troll, based on a true story, of a slave in 1860s Louisiana saying, I watch Emancipation just to see him get whooped. In a moment that went viral almost instantaneously last year, the King Richard actor slapped Chris after the comedian made a joke about Jada's hairstyle, shortly before winning his first ever Best Actor Oscar. During the 2022 ceremony, comedian Chris joked about Jada Pinkett Smith's hair, or lack thereof due to the medical condition alopecia. An outraged Will furiously headed to the stage and slapped Chris in the face, shocking fans, viewers and attendees alike, before heading back to his seat and yelling, keep my wife's name out of your f mouth. Later that night, Will walked up to the stage once again but under far different circumstances as he accepted the Oscar award for Best Actor, surpassing the likes of Benedict Cumberbatch, Andrew Garfield and Denzel Washington. The emotional actor shed tears on stage as he gave his acceptance speech, adding, I want to apologize to the Academy, to all my fellow nominees. Art imitates life, I look like the crazy father but love will make you do crazy things. Hoping the Academy invites me back.
Will has since issued a formal apology, resigned from the Academy and will not be allowed to attend the 2023 ceremony as he has been banned from the Academy Awards until 2033. Express.co.uk has contacted Chris Rock's representatives for comment. i